Hey everybody and thank you so much for joining me today here on Blind Whiskey Reviews, the most honest reviews on YouTube. Today I'm very happy to announce we are starting our run on our big blind shootout that I've been teasing for the past few weeks. Um, I did a couple posts on Instagram and Twitter if you caught those and thank you to those of you who uh, responded and gave me some suggestions for what you'd like to see in this video. But we're doing our Distillery Wars shootout. So I really wanted to put some of the big distilleries head to head and see which of their whiskeys were the best. So in this particular series, it's going to be their work horse whiskeys. And I made some rules for that, but I mean, I'll get to those in a second. But I really wanted to focus on looking at whiskeys that these big distilleries put out to see which distillery really does make the best whiskey in the category. So like I said, this is going to be the Workhorse Whiskey series. Um, we're going to be doing other ones of these coming up soon. This is going to be our Distillery War series, which I'm super excited about. So let's get to the rules for the Workhorse Whiskey shootout. So uh, I made a few rules that I wanted to follow for the selection of these whiskeys. So first and foremost, the whiskey had to be widely available. I know some of these whiskeys may not be available in some areas, and I don't think you're going to find any whiskey that's maybe a, you know, necessarily available everywhere, you know, if you're going to pick eight different whiskeys from eight different distilleries. But I think we did a really good job of picking um, the most widely available whiskeys from these distilleries. I also set a rule that it had to be under $30 for the the purchase price. Now again, some of these whiskeys may go for more in certain areas, but for me, they were all under $30, and actually they were all under $25. Um, I believe all these whiskeys ranged from 20 to 25 bucks in the ones that I picked and purchased. So there was that. The last rule was that it had to be between 90 and 101 proof. Perhaps you can guess why it's 101 proof, but we'll, uh, we'll get to that shortly. So anyways, I'm not announcing the whiskeys in this video. I kind of wanted to do a fun little review because a lot of these whiskeys I haven't actually reviewed on the channel. So I'm going to crack the bottle open. We're going to do quick little videos, kind of no time like the present reviews if you're familiar with my segment that I do like that where I crack the bottles open. We take a quick taste, just kind of see what the whiskey tastes like. Um, I'm going to do that over the next couple of weeks. I'll release all eight whiskeys that we're going to be featuring in this shootout. And then right after that, we'll get into the blind... Uh, the blind shootout portion of it. So for the blind shootout, I decided I wanted to do a double elimination bracket. Um, a lot of people do blind flights. A lot of people do um, brackets, but I've never really seen anybody really do, at least that I've seen, um, double elimination brackets. And the reason I wanted to do double elimination, although it'll be more work for me and a lot more videos for me, is that I think it's always good to give a whiskey a second chance, depending on how your palate was that day. Maybe it wasn't tasting quite as it should or, or whatever the case may be. So I really thought it'd be a good idea to give it that second opportunity to, to rise back through the ranks and make it to the finals if it is such a good whiskey. And you never know, you know if, if the two best whiskeys get paired up in the very first um, round and the, the, you know, the second best whiskey in the lineup gets eliminated, that isn't exactly fair. It should have come in second. So in this case, that's why I wanted to do the double elimination. All right, so as for the whiskeys, we're gonna be doing our very best to eliminate the variables and treat the, the whiskeys all in the same way. So I bought all the whiskeys on the same day at the same store. So I'm doing my best to eliminate any variation you can get from that. Um, we will be opening all the bottles of whiskey on the same day. I will be, <coughs> excuse me, allowing all the whiskeys to sit open for two weeks to get a little bit of air time so it's not a perfectly fresh bottle. We wanna make sure it kind of mirrors the experience you would have with this whiskey through its life. Um, I also, the way I'm gonna do the whiskey selection is I'm gonna be pouring each whiskey into several sample bottles so that way each whiskey should be as close as possible to being the exact same as it was from the first round to the last round. So that way there's no variation, hopefully, in the whiskey from the beginning to the end of this series. So we're tasting the exact same whiskey every time. So I'm doing my very best to eliminate those variables so that way we get the best experience and the best results out of this shootout. All right, so as I mentioned, I'm going to be releasing all of the whiskeys in this series over the next two weeks. You'll be seeing a lot of videos come out of me with just quick reviews of these guys, making the announcement of which whiskeys they are, and uh, doing a quick review of it so we kind of have some initial tasting notes and maybe kind of give you guys some hints as to what to expect in this series. But I wanted to release the first one on this video today because I just recently in the last couple of months did a No Time Like the Present review of it, so I don't really see the point in doing another one. But we're gonna, we need to crack the bottle open, so might as well do it here today. So the first whiskey I'm announcing in this series is Knob Creek. 
small batch. So the reason I selected this whiskey, and there was tons of great whiskeys to choose from with Jim Beam, and I was I kind of wanted to pick one from the you know Jim Beam named line, but realistically for me, Nike, Knob Creek is kind of the iconic workhorse release from Jim Beam. It's one of my favorite whiskeys. It's one of the whiskeys I've been drinking for the longest amount of time. I've always, seemingly always had a bottle of Knob Creek laying around somewhere. So I really felt like I wanted this to be my whiskey that represented the Jim Beam distillery. So this is going to be the one that we will be including for the Jim, to represent Jim Beam in this distillery war. So let's crack this bottle open, pour ourselves a little whiskey, and get out of here. Let's see if we get a good pop. Synthetic cork, as always. The nice new wax that doesn't make a mess. Smells like Knob Creek. I'm sure it tastes like Knob Creek. So anyways, guys, I hope you're looking forward to this series. I am super excited to put this out there. We're going to be having lots of head-to-head -head competition between a lot of great whiskeys. If you want to catch any of the videos in this series, definitely go look, check out the playlist, which I will link up here once we get the series going. I'll put all the videos from this series in that playlist. So if you catch one you want to see more, definitely go check that out. They'll all be linked up in there. So anyways, thank you for joining me. Hope you're looking forward to the series, and we'll see you very soon. Cheers.